no, no, no. No, thank you. Not dip it for good. No, no, thank you, my friend. In this video, I'm going to be showing you some of the hustles and scams that happen at the pyramids. Now, this video is primarily aimed at solo travelers, as in people who won't have a guide at the pyramids. But do bear in mind that not everyone is a hustler and not everyone's trying to scam you. Some people are just trying to make a living. So if you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe. Let's get started. I don't want to go there, it's okay. This way, the way. It's okay. You go this side, out. I know, I know. If you're walking around the pyramid without a guide, these guys will constantly keep coming up to you. They try to confuse you by telling you that you're going the wrong way and out of the complex. All they're really trying to do is get you to follow them so that they can take some pictures of you with the pyramids and charge you an extortionate amount. So just say no and keep walking. There are only two exits to a pyramid's complex, so you can't really go wrong. We're now approaching our second classic hustle at the pyramids. Get a bit closer to the pyramid. Up here, up here. No, no, no. Here, here. No, no, it's okay. The whistle hustle is probably one of my favorite ones. These guys will just come up, blow their whistle at you in point, and you assume that they're an authority because they have a whistle. And most people will tend to just follow them. But again, all they're trying to do is to take you somewhere to show you something very quickly and then charge you for it. Not everyone that approaches you is a bad person. A lot of the times you're going to get locals and especially children coming up to you and asking you for photos as a tourist. For some of the kids, seeing a foreign person is a novelty and perhaps it's the first time they've seen a foreigner. So they like to take a photo to remember the occasion. In this case, I agreed to have my photo taken with these kids, but don't be shy to say no if you're uncomfortable, especially if there's big groups of them. It can feel quite intimidating, so just bear that in mind. Hello. Hello, sir. You okay? Where I come from? London. You look like an Egyptian blood. I have. Half Egyptian. <laughs> half Egyptian, half London? Yeah. You're welcome, sir. Thank you. It's a good tattoo. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so you follow the road around and now I'm coming up to the middle pyramid where I'm going to meet up with my guide. Not today, my friend. Thank you. As a wish. Thank you. No, thank you. The guys on the camels will quite often come up to you and try and chat to you. As you can see there, there's a very friendly approach and he tried to use some familiarities. Really, all he's trying to do is get you to ride his camel. But just be aware, as he did at the end when he said, take a picture of me, if you do take a picture, you're going to have to pay him. And if you want to go on a camel ride, make sure to negotiate and agree a return price. I say return price because sometimes they can take you out into the desert and ask you to pay again to return. So just bear that in mind. Okay. Lovely mom. American? Oh. Welcome. England. English. English, yeah. Nice to meet you. You too, my friend. This will, uh, it will be business magnet for five pounds English. I'm okay. I was here yesterday. So I, I bought everything. Nice Thank you. To you too. Thank, Thank you. you. Now, as I said at the start, not everyone is a hustler at the pyramids. Some people are just trying to make a living like this guy was here. As you can see, a very friendly approach. Unlike the next chap. Unfortunately, there are some sellers who have very different tactics to the last guy. And you'll see this now. No, no, thank you, my friend. Now, as you can see there, he tries to put an item into my hand and told me it's for good luck, it's free, etc. But, as you know, nothing is free in this world. Even if they say to you it's a gift, keep it for good luck or whatever, it's not free. So just bear that in mind. They will sometimes even come up and put things on your shoulder and will just walk off. So give it back to them straight away if you don't want it. Something you should know is that this video is actually filmed on two different occasions with around six to seven months in between the visits. But nothing really changes at the pyramids. And before the final hustle, I just want to say that not everyone in Egypt is bad. Don't take this as an example of what everyone is like. The pyramids are extremely touristy and like anywhere in the world where there's tourist attraction, there's always these kind of people that hang around there. I've experienced similar things at the Eiffel Tower and in Rome. So I hope you enjoyed this video and you've learned a few things before going to Egypt and as I said at the start,
if you have a guide, this won't really happen to you. The last hustle, again, is another whistle hustle, but it's quite funny because if you watch the guy, he's actually just waving around at nothing when he's blowing his whistle. Again, to look like an authority. I was hoping that the whistle wouldn't happen to me again, but there you go. It just did. So you see what I did there? He saw me coming. He gets up, starts blowing his whistle and kind of randomly waving, pretending to kind of direct traffic or something, to pretend to be an authority. And then he comes up to me and goes, oh, you want me to show you the temple? 